It all started a month ago today when Representative Jay Baker held a so-called listening session concerning health insurance reform. Those against the plan Congress is trying to create turned it into a shouting session instead. Well, hundreds of people turned out tonight for one last health care listening session. Fox 11's Robert Kornacek was there and joins us live from Appleton with multiple views. Well, Michelle, a lot has changed in the last month. There was a month in the last month. There was a much different feeling at tonight's listening session. And Congressman Kagan's staff was not sure how many people would show up for this listening session tonight, the final listening session, because obviously there's a Packer game tonight. But it turns out Kagan and his staff were not not only pleasantly surprised with the turnout, but also with the response from the crowd. Unlike some of his previous listening sessions, Democratic Congressman Steve Kagan was greeted with applause in Appleton. More than 300 people came out for Kagan's eighth and final listening session on health care. It will benefit all of us. Dolores Reamer from Hilbert came out to support the reforms being proposed. She says opponents of the plans have been disrespectful at many meetings. The yell and the holler, and so nobody gets to know what's going on then, you know. It's really impossible for me to say what I'm going to vote for until I read the bill. I've read the 850-page bill. I've read the 1,017-page bill. And I've been for the most part, people at the final listening session were calm, but many here did make it clear they do not support the reform plans being discussed. Once you open the door, I mean, Pandora's box is, is going to come apart on this. And Chuck Schmidt is an Outagamie County board member. He says he's concerned about more government involvement in health care. It's a slippery slope, and uh, I hope he understands that we need to avoid this at all costs. Right now, we've got legislation that is unfinished. Kagan says the government has to do something. These listening sessions, he says, have helped clarify what that something needs to be. The message to Washington from northeast Wisconsin is let's fix what's broken, improve on what we already have, and make sure that's at a price we can afford to pay. This listening session here in Appleton tops off what has easily been Kagan's busiest August recess since he was elected back in 2006. And that recess comes to an end on Monday. That's when Kagan heads back to Washington, D.C. Live in Appleton, Robert Hornacek, Fox 11 News.